children i hope you all are having fun during this break today's bible story is about a baby in a basket let's learn more by listening to the bible story the israelite people who were god's chosen people lived in a country called egypt it was near a river called the nile river egypt was a very big and powerful country Egypt was ruled by kings and their kings were called pharaoh now the pharaoh who was ruling at that time didn't like the israelite people very much so he got them to do very hard work and made them into slaves one day pharaoh got so angry at the israelite people that he ordered his soldiers to kill all the israelite baby boys now during this time a woman named jochebed gave birth to a baby boy and she was afraid that her baby would be killed so to save her baby she made a basket and put her baby inside the basket and hid him in the nile river now Pharaoh's daughter was also at the river that day and found a floating basket when she opened it she found a baby inside she took the baby and said she would raise the baby like her own child and named the baby Moses now Moses's sister Miriam saw everything that was happening She came and asked Pharaoh's daughter if she needed someone to take care of the child and Pharaoh's daughter said yes So Miriam ran home and told her mother what had happened and she brought Jochebed Moses's own mother to look after him After a few years and Moses had grown into a young boy Jochebed brought him to Pharaoh's daughter in the palace and from then on moses grew up in the palace in egypt wow what an amazing story to save her baby jochebed took her baby put him in a basket and hid him in the nile river between all the tall grass right so that no one can see the baby and his sister miriam followed from a distance to see what would happen to her baby brother and then pharaoh's daughter found him and when pharaoh's daughter found him miriam quickly went and asked her if she needed someone to look after the baby and the princess said yes and because of that jacobed was able to look after and um, raise her own baby for those first few years because of what Moses's family did for him he was saved he was not killed because his family saved him like Moses and his family we too have been given family a family by god our parents our brothers and sisters our grandparents our aunties and uncles and cousins all of them are a gift from god and we have to be so thankful to god for all of them they are a blessing because our family helps us when we are in trouble and our family is there for us they pray for us and in the same way we too should be a uh, a good family member to the rest of our uh, family to our parents we should be a good child you know being obedient and helpful whenever possible so our families are a great great gift from god just like moses was blessed with a great family with his mother and sister helping to save him we too have been blessed with our families 
shall we say a small prayer thanking God for the amazing family that we have. Let us pray. You can say the prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for blessing me with a beautiful family. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So now, let's learn an action song that will remind us about the story of Moses and what we learned today. It's called, Where is Baby Moses? You can do the actions with me and learn the words of the song slowly. Right? Let's start. Where is baby Moses, Moses, Moses? Where is baby Moses in the river Nile? He's in a basket, basket, basket. He's in the basket in the river Nile. The princess, she went swimming, swimming, swimming. The princess, she went swimming in the river Nile. She found the baby Moses, Moses, Moses. She found the baby Moses in the river Nile. She took him to the palace, palace, palace. She took him to the palace near the river Nile. And there the baby grew up, grew up, grew up. And there the baby grew up near the river Nile. I hope you enjoyed this song. Till next time, take care of yourself. Be good children and God bless. See you soon.